Welcome back, everybody, to another Command & Conquer 3 Kane's Wrath video commentary. We are on the map Twisted Rift, spawning in the bottom right-hand corner as the orange Zocom. We have Plan Eden, and his opponent in the upper left-hand corner as the red Zocom. We have State of the Union, so State versus Plan Eden here on Twisted Rift 1.02 Plus Release 9. That's right, back on some 1.02 Plus action. Ladies and gentlemen, should be quite good. Another mirror matchup here for you today. Zocom should be quite interesting. I love Zocom. Their air is just so good, so would not be terribly surprised to be seeing some Firehawk v. Firehawk action, or maybe even some Infantry v. Infantry action. So it's looking like State of the Union is going to be coming through with a victory here against this Rifleman squad of Plan Eden, but Plan Eden grabbing a garrison here at the Blue Tiberium. That's going to be quite good. Going to be keeping eyes on what's going on getting eyes on that harvester coming through so we can get an opportunity to snipe that down and state of the union is going to be continuing to send his scouts down to the south plain eating grabbing another garrison up top so spending a decent amount of money on those garrisons we'll have to see if that pays off for him state just going for that standard build we're not going to be seeing any kind of fast airfield as zocom orca rushes really aren't that great they're pretty hard to control i mean you can certainly do some damage with them but they're not as good as the orcas of the standard GDI factions such as GDI or Steel Talons. But to each their own. And we're going to be seeing a Watchtower cell from Plan Eden. Just some nice micro from both of these guys. Trying to bait forward some of these infantry squads. And ooh, State of the Union going to be losing the remainder of that infantry squad. Trying to get a foxhole there just before getting a foxhole being killed. And they're going to be sent to an early grave. Plan Eden does still have that bunker in the center and it looks like both of these guys are going to be going for a pretty standard eco play here state of the union packing up and moving to his expansion as we speak and plan eden doing the same so actually it looks like plan eden is going to be choosing to go for the longer expansion going to be expanding all the way out here to the middle of the map and that's going to give him a nice opportunity to leech this blue tiberium very easily and be able to defend his harvesters while he does so and state of the union he does have that shorter expansion distance so he can get his economy up and running much quicker and let's take a look in the base of Planet, and he is up to four and two, and likely going to be a fifth harvester coming out now, and may see some additional harvesters or maybe some offensive units. We'll have to see. State of the Union does have this garrison next to the Tiberium Spike of Planet, and going to be whittling that away. Planet and doing exactly the same thing to State of the Union, so pretty similar mirror builds at this point. I mean, the only big difference at this point is the fact that State has expanded down to the south. Whereas Plan Eden has chosen to expand to the middle as opposed to the north. So going for that barracks here in the center. And it looks like he's actually going to be putting in a couple of these rocket squads into the foxhole. And that's actually a nice choice. I've seen people do this before and particularly Unleashed. I think I saw him do it in a couple of games on this map. Where he'd grab that foxhole in the center. It's just such a pain to leech. Especially as GDI you don't have those stealth, stealth harvesters. And uh, it's just going to be something that State's going to have to keep an eye on. And State of the Union moving out with some pit bulls here, looking to get on the offensive, but is going to be disappointed to not see any refinery or harvesters out from Plan Eden. Plan Eden actually choosing to not drop that refinery just yet. Actually does drop the refinery, but powers it straight down before that harvester is even queued. Good choice, and is going to be forcing these pit bulls to fall back. So State of the Union not being able to do any damage here yet with these pit bulls, but it looks like another harvester is going to be coming back from the Blue Tiberium, desperately trying to keep that alive. And let's take a look where those pit bulls ran off to. Where did they go? And actually, no, they are going to be coming back in here from the south. Going to be looking to do some damage, but, I mean, those harvesters just have so much health. And the five pit bulls are going to be forced to fall back. Two of them very low health. Yes, another one does go down. So, State of the Union losing two pit bulls there for absolutely no gain. The third one is very low on HP. Could potentially go down. The rocket troopers are going to be giving chase. And we can see it's just going to be continual picking away at those Tiberium Spikes. Neither player has chosen to repair their Tiberium Spike at this point. So they are getting decently low on HP, but nothing too much to be concerned about. It's going to be a APC transition out from State of the Union at this point. And that's going to be quite good against Infantry. So State of the Union going for that classic Pitbull and APC spam for Zocom. But he does have the opportunity to go for Predator Tanks, and Plan Eden is going to take perfect opportunity to use this. And as seeing that the Predator Tanks are unbugged here in 1.02+, plus, he is going to be going for that Predator Tank spam at this point to defend against these units, and that's going to be exactly what he needs. 
but State of the Union going to be rallying up to the north, looking to snipe down this Tiberium Spike a little bit quicker, using the forces of his pit bulls to, to knock that down. It looks like the APCs are going to be joining the fight here. So let's take a look in the base. State of the Union up to Tier 2. It looks like he's queuing his AP ammo upgrade at the moment. It looks like it is about halfway done. Airfield down on the field as well. Perhaps going to be going for that Hammerhead production. Always a good choice as Zocom. But man, Planet Eden going heavy, heavy Predator tanks, and I'm quite surprised that he's doing so, especially without having scouted that main base, or maybe he has scouted, I'm honestly not sure. But it looks like the forces of State of the Union are going to be forced to fall back here by the Predator tank defense out from Planet Eden. So very heavy Predator tank spam from Planet Eden at this point. And State of the Union going to be losing some of these APCs as they're just wandering in, likely from a, a misclick here, or perhaps just a queued War Factory location but they are going to be falling back now. And let's take a look on the left-hand side. Stay the Union keeping that Tiberium Spike up and running by repairing it. And it looks like he is going to be responding with a Predator tank here to clear out that garrison. Very wise decision. And it looks like it was maybe just ceramic armor being completed here from Stay the Union. As we can see, there's nothing else being queued at the moment, but we'll have to see later on. We can see just a, a scouting squad from State going to be falling back here, but Plan Eden moving out with about six of these Predator tanks in the north, maybe trying to snipe down some harvesters here, but absolutely nothing here, but oh, there is an outpost here from State. Is that State or is that Plan Eden? I honestly can't tell. The colors are just so difficult. I believe that is State of the Union, and man, Plan Eden has not seen this. I don't think he's got vision here either. Our base is under attack. We can see that Unhold. State Cancel. can see that there Harvester is a Predator tank here, attack. but let's take a look. Plain Eden, no, Plain Eden can see this. So I'm surprised that he's not responding to this. I apologize for wasting so much time looking at that, but it's just so important. And we are seeing the Zocom airstrike being called in, but not actually managing to claim any harvesters here. It looks like there was a small attack down in the south, but State of the Union was able to clean that up pretty quickly and is going to be out on the offensive. Marv out on the field for Plain Eden and already has those zone troopers, or rather zone raiders, as well as a single engineer going to be going to that Marv. And he's going to be harvesting some of his own Tiberian field. Definitely not what he wants to be doing, especially with that number of harvesters out on the field. And uh, let's take a look at what we have coming out from State of the Union. So Planet Eden moving out in the north, going to be cleaning up this original main base of State of the Union. And it looks like these forces are just kind of spreading their fire all over the place. They do manage to catch a harvester as it's trying to fall back. Do clean up a power plant. They don't actually clean up this fully upgraded power plant. That's probably not a good choice but going to be focusing down that airfield and definitely needs to pull back at this point. He's done some damage, yes, and Plain Eden's going to fall back. But, oh, a Sonic Emitter drop from State of the Union could potentially be the end of all these forces, yes. And it looks like State is going to be spreading his fire out amongst almost all of these Predator tanks, just going to be trying to weaken them, allowing his forces to clean up the rest. But the refinery here from State of the Union could potentially be going down Let's take a look down in the south. We can see Plan Eden pushing forward with that Marv. There's not a whole lot here to defend. And I mean, State of the Union is caught between a rock and a hard place. He has to respond to these Predator tanks up in the north, but he needs to be able to be here to defend against that Marv. And it looks like it is going to be Firehawks out from Plan Eden, potentially coming in here to snipe the Tier 2 of State of the Union. State seeing that and selling it up straight away. Great choice as he's going to be able to get his money back for that. But man, State of the Union managing to grab this expansion under the nose of Planet Eden. Planet Eden had the opportunity to completely shut this down. He saw the outpost. He had an opportunity to kill it off, but maybe just was not paying attention. Did not have an opportunity there. Or perhaps a squandered opportunity. State of the Union completely cleaning up the force of Planet Eden in the north. And is going to be moving out. He does have his Marv on the field as well. So it could potentially be defending against this Marv down in the south. Or looking to go for a very base trade scenario. And uh, we do have a single Mammoth tank out as well as a couple of APCs and a Predator tank, but not going to be enough to defend against the Marv here from Plan Eden. And the Mammoth tank going to be giving away a decent amount of XP to this Marv. Would not be hugely surprised to see that Marv rank up. No, he's not going to rank up just off of that. But he is coming in here completely uncontested against this base, and State is in a pretty tough situation. He does not have anything here to defend and I'm not quite sure what these Firehawks are being used for. It looks like he's actually choosing to use the Firehawks to try to bomb this Marv, and definitely not what he wants to be doing, but uh, he's going to be pulling those Firehawks back at any rate, and it looks like the airfield of State of the Union was sniped down, so State is looking to be in a pretty tough position here. Not quite sure what he's going to be able to do. Plan Eden is moving in with his Marv here, getting a couple of his Predator tanks cleaned up down in the south. State of the Union choosing to 
choosing to take the engagements where he knows he can win. And now he's going to be moving in on the rear armor of this Marv. But no, he's going to choose to fall back here. The Marv is up to that veteran status. And uh, if it goes uh, elite or even heroic, that is going to be really bad news for State of the Union. But it looks like he is going to be losing his construction yard here. Just nothing here to defend. It looks like maybe there is another structure ready to drop. Perhaps. Not quite sure what it is. But we do have a shockwave artillery coming in from one of these players. Not quite sure where it's coming in. Ooh, Shockwave Artillery coming in, completely locking down this entire attacking force of State of the Union, but nothing here to actually destroy these units. So it's only going to be delaying the inevitable here, and we'll have to see what the response from Plan Eden is going to be. He does have a couple of these Firehawks out on the field, but they, are, they look to be in anti-air mode at the moment, just sitting here casually flying over the base. But it's going to be an orbital strike coming out from Plan Eden, going to be able to destroy a large number of those APCs and heavily damage the rest of that force there, and it's going to be enough to force State of the Union to fall back here. And let's take a look up in the north. State of the Union going to be harvesting away at this expansion field. Going to be getting some nice economy off of this field and going to be cleaning up an additional harvester of Plant Eden that is straight away. But we can see on the left-hand side, Plant Eden has completely cleaned up this base of State of the Union and is just sitting here with his Marv. He could potentially be harvesting this field or even moving up and harvesting the field to the north or even putting some pressure on State of the Union. He definitely needs to get that Marv on the move and start doing something with it. But it looks like it is going to be an infantry transition from State of the Union or perhaps just trying to get out these Grenadier squads to get the EMP off. And yes, it looks like it is going to be an armory down and likely going to be EMP grenades. He definitely needs to get something to defend against those forces. But it looks like it's going to be Hammerheads as well as Zone Troopers. And actually an interesting mixed force here from Plan Eden. Going to be coming in here and getting some nice engagements against State of the Union. Going to be definitely getting some nice shots off on these Grenadier squads. And actually it was Composite Armor or Tiberium Field Suits. I apologize. I'm getting the upgrades mixed up. Yes, it is going to be Tiberium Field Suits here done for State of the Union. So interesting choice to go for that. Looking to go for heavy infantry spam. But he is going to be able to clean up all of the forces here of Plan Eden. So perhaps not the worst choice in the world. Could potentially be losing that refinery. No, the refinery is going to be kept alive. But it looks like an Orca Strike is coming in from Plan Eden. Could potentially be claiming that. And yes, it is going to be claiming both the refinery as well as a Harvester of State of the Union. So not going to be a good situation for State whatsoever. And let's take a look on the right-hand side. We can see this Marv is still just cleaning up this Tiberium field on the right-hand side for State of the Union and likewise for Plan Eden on the left-hand side just happily mining away. And Plan Eden is looking pretty good in this game. I mean, he's got three of these mammoth tanks out on the field as well as a decent number of infantry to push up north. He likely knows that the Marv is up here from State of the Union. He knows that the Marv is out on the field, but perhaps just doesn't have eyes on where it is. And we can see down in the south, Plan Eden does still have this base. He is still mining away, keeping this field dry without having to harvest it, and he does still have some infrastructure down here as well. Could potentially sell up these buildings here. Does not necessarily need all of that down here, but actually that is his main base. It looks like he did lose his MCV at one point. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but another MCV coming out on the field for Plan Eden, and uh, that's going to be quite nice. And we'll have to see. It looks like it is going to be harvester production out for State of the Union. It looks like he's going to be sending some of these harvesters down to grab some of that blue Tiberium. Definitely what he needs to be doing at this point in the game, as he is quite a bit behind and losing so much of his infrastructure, he's going to be in a pretty tough position. But he does still have his Marv out on the field and is producing heavy harvesters out of these, out of the Reclamator hub. But it looks like it is going to be State of the Union moving out with these forces on the left-hand side. And actually, he does have his construction yard back up and running. He has expanded off to the left. He does have his Tier 2 done as well. So State of the Union is certainly not out of this game. But, ooh, how did I miss this? The Marv is extremely low HP, but it's looking like... The infantry defense from State of the Union is going to be enough to completely lock down this force and keep his Marv alive. Wow, this is pretty fantastic. Completely missed this. We'll likely end up cutting it in on the, the corner of the, the screen there when you're watching. And uh, let's see what we have coming out from Plan Eden. He is going to be responding to this with his Marv. It looks like he is going to be moving in with his Marv into the main base of State of the Union at this point, realizing that he does not want to allow State to get back into this game. Bloodhound's coming in from State from Plan Eden as well. Surprisingly enough, no AP ammo done for Plan Eden, and that's going to be definitely favoring State of the Union in this situation as those composite... I keep calling it composite armor. Tiberian Field Suit's going to be very good against all infantry that do not have AP ammo. And uh, it looks like these forces are going to be enough to force these units to fall back, but ooh, sniper team's being called in from Plan Eden, or perhaps even just created. It doesn't look like they have that veteran status. So no, they are just queued up 
sniper teams going to be coming in from planet and getting some nice engagements against those infantry going to be completely cleaning them up but are going to be forced to fall back but the marv here just absolutely munching down those units and that's exactly what planet Eden wanted to see just going to be adding some veterancy to that marv and it looks like it is going to be an infantry support power coming in from state of the union looking to defend that expansion he does have a harvester as well as a refinery on that field but a quad engineer marv out from State of the Union. So, I mean, typically you would see that with Steel Talons play, but going for that Quad Engineer Marv, it's gonna allow him to eat a lot of damage. But I mean, against a Marv with triple Zone Raider garrisons, I mean, the damage output is just gonna severely outdo the ability to repair from that Marv. So perhaps just realizing that he isn't gonna have op an opportunity to drop that tier three at any point in time, he definitely wants to get some garrisons in that Marv. So going for that Quad Engineer Mar, probably not a terrible decision. But it looks like State of the Union is going to be cleaning up some some forces from Plan Eden that have strayed away from the main body here. And it's going to be Watchtower drops from State of the Union to try to defend against this. But man, they're just not going to be doing anything against this Marv. And the Marv is going to be coming in here and just absolutely murdering the remainder of these forces. And actually managing to c catch some additional units out from State of the Union at this point, and State is poised to lose this base once again. Definitely not going to be a good situation if he does. And the sniper teams here still to defend against these Grenadier squads of State of the Union, and he's doing such a good job of defending against that EMP blast. But now the Marv, as well as the infantry forces of State of the Union, are going to be moving in to try to defend against this Marv and potentially snipe it down. And we'll have to see if the defense from Plan Eden is going to be good enough. It looks like he's doing a great job of keeping those Grenadier squads from getting the EMP off. And that's exactly what he needs to do at this point. But the Firehawks coming in from Plan Eden are going to be forcing the sell-off of the refinery here of State of the Union. And honestly, this base has been pretty much nullified. Could potentially pack up that construction yard and fall back. But it looks like he is going to be leaving it here. And the Marv moving forward is going to be enough to prompt a response out from State of the Union. It looks like he's going to be responding with all of his forces here. But the sniper teams from Plane Eden have been good enough to defend against this. And we'll have to see Marv ranking up to Elite here. Going to be a bad situation for State of the Union if it goes heroic. It's just going to be pretty much unstoppable. And State of the Union just marching these infantry forces forward. Really nothing here to actually do some serious damage. But ooh, a radar scan coming down from State of the Union. Going to be completely cleaning up all of the remainder of these these sniper teams, but actually one sniper team on, on the left-hand side being split off by Planet and going to be surviving that attack. So he does still have a sniper team out on the field to defend against those those Grenadier squads. But man, what is State of the Union going to be doing at this point? I mean, he's doing a great job of holding on in this game. Certainly better than most would, I would imagine. And it looks like he's going to be back out on the offensive here. And we actually did have a radar scan coming in from Plan Eden, going to be getting eyes on this base, perhaps just trying to keep eyes on where, what is going on here, or maybe even just trying to spot for those Firehawks. The Firehawks are going to be falling back here. Looks like they did take some damage, perhaps one or two going down there. Looks like he is down to two Firehawks. I'm honestly not sure how many he had. But Plan Eden sending three Harvesters down here to this main expansion, or rather original expansion. It's going to be cleaning up the remainder of this Tiberium here. So Plan Eden is looking really good in terms of expansion. But State of the Union completely missed this. He has an expansion off to the right-hand side. Going to be mining away at this field fairly, fairly quickly. But, ooh, we have some Ox Transport Engineers coming out from State of the Union. So not quite sure what he's going to be looking to do with those. Potentially going to be looking to grab away from some infrastructure of Plan Eden. That would be pretty amazing. And it looks like they are going to be going in to grab some structures here. And we'll have to see one's going to be coming down to the south and one's going to be going into the the now main base of state of the of or rather of Plan Eden. And actually the Firehawks, they were in anti-air mode and ooh, going to be losing that ox transport. But the engineer out from State of the Union could potentially be grabbing this refinery away from Plan Eden. Is he going to see it in time? No, Plan Eden does lose that refinery. Doesn't lose the Harvester, but does lose the Refinery. That's not going to be good at all. State Union is going to be liking that quite a bit. Going to be doing a little bit of trolling there. And it looks like there are four Ox Transports maybe coming back from a Bloodhound or Infantry drop. I'm not sure where they're coming from, to be honest. Looks like it was maybe Infantry. Do we have any Vet statuses? Honestly, not sure. But Infantry Forces as well as the Marv, Elite Marv at that, going to be moving in for Plan Eden at this point. Going to be looking to put some pressure on this expansion of State of the Union. 
and it looks like he is going to be going for the attack on that Conyard, and that's going to be buying State of the Union some time here to get into position and get that EMP off, and it looks like a couple of engineers did get into range. Yes, the EMPs are going to be going off, and no sniper teams here to defend for Plan Eden. We do have Shockwave Artillery coming down from Plan Eden, going to be cleaning up a lot of that infantry. Wow, look at those shots. Going to be taking out so many of those clumped up infantry units of State of the Union. Going to be locking down that Marv as well. And Plan Eden going to be poised to lose this Marv here, provided that State of the Union can keep the EMP up. But Hammerhead's coming in from Plan Eden. Going to be looking to desperately take down this EMP advantage that Plan Eden has at this point. Or rather, that State of the Union has at this point. And a Marv Orca Strike coming in on this infantry. Going to be looking to just clean that up as well. And now Plan Eden could be losing this, her this almost said heroic, but elite Marv. And it looks like the Marv of State of the Union just absolutely tanking all that damage. Going to be coming forward and doing some damage. Potentially going to be sniping down this Marv. Not sure if he's going to have enough time to snipe this down. But we do have AA battery drops here from State of the Union. Going to be forcing off the remainder of the air support of Plan Eden. But now it is Marv v Marv. And wow, look at the damage output from Plan Eden. That elite Marv down to less than a quarter of its health. Going to be completely defeating a quad engineer Marv at full health. Wow. That just shows you the power of those Zone Raider garrisons. And that Marv is poised to go with heroic at this point. And that would be lights out for State of the Union. State of the Union desperately needs to take that Marv out before it's able to get repairs. He does not want to squander this opportunity. But he just has nothing left. He does have this expansion, which he has stolen away from Plan Eden. So he has a nice economy at this point. But can he produce the units that he needs in order to destroy Plan Eden at this point? Dropping an airfield, likely a good choice at this point as he needs some fast attack units. But the forces of Plan Eden, the Firehawks in particular, being enough to defend against the forces of State of the Union so far. And actually, they are going to be able to snipe down a couple of those, or rather a single one of those Orcas from the Orca Strike. But not until they are able to get those shots off. But now it looks like Grenadier Squads as well as a single Missile Squad going to be getting some nice shots but the hammerhead of State of the Union going to be venturing into this force here. Going to be forcing response from Plan Eden, but not able to get the shots off, and that hammerhead is going to get away. State of the Union is going to be quite pleased about that, I would imagine. And let's take a look down on the left. Plan Eden is going to get away with this Marv. He has expanded down to the left, and he does have that Reclamator Hub back out on the field. I'm surprised that he's dropped another one, perhaps expecting that he was going to lose that Marv. I certainly was expecting him to. But he's going to be harvesting this field. Definitely not what he wants to be doing, especially with a harvester out on the field, but perhaps just needs that economy straight away. And uh, we're going to be seeing State of the Union moving in once again with these hammerheads. And no, actually, those are Plan Eden's hammerheads. It's just so hard to tell with the colors. Pick some different colors, guys. These close colors are so difficult to tell. But hammerhead versus firehawk on the deck. And ooh, State of the Union cleaning up all four of those firehawks. Going to be forcing an AA battery drop out of state, or rather out of Plan Eden at this point. And it looks like Plan, Plan Eden is going to be losing all of his power plants, going to be forcing him into a low power state, and state is going to be moving around, just trying to keep on the move and just keep some damage on these units. So state going for that late game hammerhead production, and this is looking quite good. If he can snipe down this power and just deny these AA batteries, that would be quite good. And look at how much damage these hammerheads are sponging. They're just taking out all of these zone troopers, or rather zone raiders, sniping down some additional power. And the, it's just forcing out so many AA batteries out of Plan Eden, and he's just spending so much money to counter this. That's exactly what State of the Union wanted, and would have potentially liked to see these power plants all go down so he could just steamroll that base with those hammerheads, but it's not going to be the case. Plan Eden doing too well to defend against that. And it looks like it is going to be dual airfield production out from State of the Union. Likely how he was able to produce so many of those hammerheads. But that Marv still out on the field just going with that single repair pad is back up to, it looks like, just slightly under a fifth of its health. Maybe a quarter of its health. We'll have to see. But it looks like Plan Eden is going to be taking some more damage from these hammerheads of State of the Union. And State could definitely be attacking that Marv, could potentially snipe it down but is doing a great job of pulling these hammerheads back. Actually going to be sniping down that AA battery, just showing the sheer power of that ceramic armor upgrade. And it looks like State of the Union is going to be falling back here. Two of the anti-air batteries from Plan Eden are going to be enough and actually forcing a third one to drop as well. We do have a rig out from Plan Eden 
to likely repair this Marv, and that's exactly what he's going to want to do at this point. Going to be able to keep that Marv on the front lines, going to be able to get the repairs, and that repair is just going to be so fast when he's able to get that up. And that Elite Marv is just going to be so difficult to defend against. And it looks like Planet Eden is counterattacking with some Hammerheads of his own. He does have a, a veteran Hammerhead, so it looks like that one has been out on the field for a while. And actually, look at that. Going to be pulling that Hammerhead off of the field. But, ooh, sniping down that Engineer of State of the Union. So not sure where that Engineer was headed. Looks like it was just a lone Engineer out on the field, perhaps just from the sold-off Conyard of State in the North. But now there's just no answer to these Hammerheads. Could potentially be getting some nice shots off by these Harvesters. And are they going to claim any of these Hammerheads? No, it's not going to be enough. But State of the Union counterattacking down on the bottom left with some Hammerheads of his own. Going to be cleaning up all of the power plants here. And Plan Eden desperately trying to defend this out with AA batteries, but just does not have the power to do so. Going to be losing his Tier 2, so no more AA batteries from Plan Eden at this point. And the power micro is going to have to be perfect. Going to be trying to focus down this construction yard before Plan Eden is able to get that power back up and running. And honestly, should just be powering down all of his structures just to defend against this force at this point. That would be the best choice. And it looks like it is just going to be power plant after power plant drop out of Plan Eden, desperately trying to defend and going to be able to hold on against that force there up in the north. Let's take a look and see what we've got. We've got, it looks like just a couple of rifleman squads from Plan Eden up in the top of the map. And this Marv has been repaired up a little bit here. Not too much. You would have thought it would have gotten a little bit more repairs from that battle base, but likely Plan Eden focusing elsewhere. It is going to be focusing down the remainder of this base and Elite Hammerhead out from Plan Eden. Definitely going to be doing a lot of damage. And actually, it looks like another one of these units did go veteran status. So perhaps a Rifleman Squad garrisoned in that, that unit there. But man, State of the Union just being such a pain with these Hammerheads, doing such a nice job of coming in here and poking down the power and then doing as much damage as he possibly can. And he's just forcing so much of a response out of Plan Eden, not allowing him to get any type of a ground force worked up. And Plan Eden, his only hope at this point is to get in here and do some serious damage with this Marv. You would have hoped that it would have been up to full health at this point, but it looks like he is going to be moving in regardless, and there is no ground force out of State of the Union to defend against this, and his hammerheads are out of position, so he is going to be poised to lose this, but heroic Zocom Marv and State of the Union is in a pickle now, and it looks like he is going to be losing the remainder of this base. I believe he just has a power plant left at this point, but down on the bottom left, it looks like he, he is going to be going for a base trade scenario here. Can he snipe down that construction yard? But there is a refinery and State of the Union has been defeated. Plan Eden coming through with a victory here in that base race game. Man, another mirror matchup base race. Very good game between these two guys. Plan Eden definitely had an advantage through the majority of that game, but State of the Union just showing that he knows what he is doing and is able to pull through and just hold on for so long, just doing all of these crazy counterattacks as well as getting in those crazy troll little engineers getting in and capturing those structures and uh, let's take a look at the resources tab real quick man state of the union having an economy advantage over the entire course of the game there over plan eden just doing so much damage with those hammerheads towards the late game and just completely solidifying his advantage there but wow just look at that you would have thought with the the damage that plan eden was doing that state of the union would have been lower on economy but it looks like that Marv was just able to do so much damage for Plan Eden that it was trading so cost-effectively. And State of the Union losing a lot of units to that. But let's take a look at the stats real quick. And we can see 0.74 KD for State and 1.27 for Plan Eden. And that's definitely where that game was won. I mean, the, the KD of that Marv alone was able to win that game for Plan Eden. So great job from Plan Eden to keep that Marv alive and get it up to that heroic status and choosing the right time to go in and crush that base of State of the Union. Doing a nice job of counterattacking with those Hammerheads as well while he was being attacked by State of the Union in his main base. But man, what a good game. Close game again. And uh, always nice to see that. So nice to be back casting some additional Kane's Wrath videos. I know it's been, so, been a while. I'm going to be trying to keep the schedule up and running a little bit quicker nowadays as I, my schedule's freeing up a little bit. And uh, so be sure to keep an eye out on the YouTube channel for some additional videos, and uh, I'll catch you all next time.